The following content is for entertainment purposes only. All of the voices in this video and this disclaimer were generated using artificial intelligence and are not actual quotes of the persons depicted. This content is purely satirical and is in no way a political advertisement or contains any political bias. Viewer discretion is advised. Rise and shine YouTube. And welcome to episode three of Presidents Play Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. We've got a big episode today as I will attempt to obtain our first gym badge against Faulkner in Violet City. How are you all doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Barack. Thank you for asking. Did you see my incredibly dominating primary win in South Carolina the other day? I have 96.2% of the vote down there. I must literally be viewed as a god to them. Biden, you do realize that the incumbent literally always wins those in overwhelming fashion, right? In fact, I'm surprised you didn't win by more, but anyway. I see you wasted no time here, Barack. Let's get this challenge started and see what type we will be up against here. It's the first Jim Bush. What's the worst that could... No, please, continue that sentence, Donald. Um, what I was saying was, look, guys, it's just a water gym. It just so happens to be a Kingdra in our way. Do you think there's any chance that the game would give us the dragon type to go up against right at the start? Well, guys, it was a fun run. I would like to thank everyone who checked out episodes one and two, as well as this eventual disaster when a Dragonite rips our team to shreds. No refunds will be given, and have a great day. Roll the outro. No, don't roll the outro, you jackass. We're going to take down this gym and make Faulkner our bitch. You lived bitch. a good life, mystery. Have some girl. goddamn faith in me, Joe. I literally took down half the gyms in our last series, and I'm going to take down this one. Biden, shut the hell up with your negativity. You see, Mystery tanked that because she's a beast. It's been established already that she's got that dog in her. And a puny little hyper beam isn't going to take her out. I will ask, why are you switching through, Barack? One more psychic will take it out. I mean, you're most likely right, but since Kingdra has the speed advantage, I don't want to take the risk of not taking it out on the recharge turn and then switching into a big hit of a potentially unknown type. I'm going to go with Slasher because it would absolutely tank a Hyper Beam and can take it out with a Sludge. Unlike you, I'm going to head to the Pokemon Center between battles, so as long as our team isn't fainting, it's a win. Cool, calm, and collected like always, Barry. That's what I like to see. And because of it, we are rewarded with Slasher learning. A Grass-type move which is really good for his coverage. I will admit it is strange to see a Pokemon using the type of a move it's four times weak against, though. Gotta love the randomizer. It does stink that it's a special type move and Slasher is a physical attacking Pokemon, but it's still good to have. Now we can hopefully see what gym we're going up against with this trainer. Well, it looks like we're clearly going up against the Kingdra type gym. Obama, you didn't tell us in your little randomizer information piece that gyms would only have trainers using a single Pokemon. That's some important information. Joe, it isn't the Kingdra type gym. The randomizer just happened to have the first two Pokemon we encounter here be Kingdras. So we actually still don't know what type we are dealing with overall. But this battle should be easier seeing we're going up against what I assume is two level sevens and not a level nine like last time. At least this trainer does have two Pokemon, so hopefully we finally know what type we're dealing with. It really would be nice to know seeing the gym leader is our next opponent. Holy shit! Mystery is getting a ton of experience from that battle even when it was over-leveled. You see, I was right. It is the Kingdra-type gym. I told you. Barack, why do you keep insisting on lying to us? Joe, for the last time, it is not the fucking Kingdra-type gym. I admit is incredibly highly unlikely that the first three Pokémon have been exactly the same, but that doesn't change the fact that this is the water or dragon-type gym still. I don't know, Barack. I think Joey might be onto something here. I mean, what are the odds that every Pokemon we have seen so far has been exactly the same? I think you may have hit the wrong button when you were generating this seed and set up all gems to have the exact same Pokemon. It's not a bad thing if you did it. It's just another twist. That's all. I swear to God I will pull a repeat of the Cinnabar gym if you idiots keep pissing me off when I'm trying to deal with this potentially dragon-type first gym without losing any of our teammates. It's not the fucking Kingdra-type gym. So I advise you guys shut up because the memory of that gym battle is still fresh inside my brain and I still have nightmares from it. 
If you say you don't, Joe, you'd be the biggest liar I've ever known. I sleep about 75% of the day. So to be honest, there isn't much I haven't dreamed about at this point. But yeah, I could do without Obama going ultra instinct on us. That's fair. Hey, wait a minute. You transformed only after we went into the simulation. How do we know if you can even do that outside the simulation? I'm calling your bluff right here, Obama. Hey, good luck in the gym battle, buddy. We're all rooting for you. That's what I thought you said, my good chum. Now, if you will please all cut out the bullshit, I need to focus. I have no idea if we're going up against dragons, and if we are, I need to be dialed in or it could be a massacre. Give him hell, Barack. You got this. We're getting 16 badges on this run, and it starts with you right here and right now. Well, Barack, I'm officially man enough to admit when I'm wrong. It looks like it is, in fact, the dragon-type gym and not the Kingdra-type gym. Mystery and Psychic should be our best friend right now. To be honest with you, I was starting to get worried I did accidentally hit something wrong, and we were, in fact, battling a gym with all of the same type. Although it doesn't give me relief, we're battling dragons right off the start. It's something not on my mind anymore. Looks like this first battle is safely in hand. While Dragonair did have a water type move, it wasn't strong, and Mystery can take it out easily with two more psychics. I just hope we don't have to deal with a Dragonite at some time during this battle that is stacked with a variety of moves. If I remember correctly, I think Faulkner only has two Pokemon, so it's either now or never, so place your bets now because you have a one in four chance of guessing it correctly. We were literally one Pokemon away from having all five opponents in this gym be a Kingdra that is absolutely wild. At least we don't have to face a Dragonite and we have the inside scoop on its moves, seeing we've battled so many of them so far. I'm surprised that the gym leader has a Pokemon lower level than the elder of the Sprout Tower, but I'm not going to punch a gift horse in the mouth. One more Kingdra to take down, and the first badge is ours. I'm liking that supersonic play right there, Barack. Kind of reminds me of the sleep strategy we used the last time we battled dragons. Well, if there's anything we have learned, it's that Dark Brandon is an amazing battler, and his strategies are absolutely peak. Since we have a free switch right here, I think I'm going to bring in Captain Potosy to wrap this battle up. Come to think of it, who do you think would win in a battle between our Dark Brandon and Sukuna from the game producer Six Universe? Don't make me laugh, George. Dark Brandon would take Fraud Kuna to the cleaners. One of them battles with tactical mastery, and the other thinks they know the script. Agreed. But maybe this battle isn't as Joe Ver as we thought it was. Thunderbolt literally did nothing right there. If Kingdra doesn't start hurting itself, we're definitely going to have to change. I definitely didn't expect it to be two for two right now, but I just have to keep chipping away and this battle still will be over. Potosy is doing its job, and if someone else has to finish the deal, then so be it. Slasher knocked out the first level nine Kingdra we faced in this gym, and now he'll have the honor of knocking out the second one as well. I know it's pretty random here, but since we're in the gym battle right now, I think I have a good comment question of the episode for you all. Sorry again, we forgot about that last episode, by the way. If you were playing a randomizer, would you rather have the first gym be more difficult against dragons like these, or would you rather have them towards the end when your team is better equipped to face them? Let us know in the comments below. That's not a bad question, Bush. Comes down to if you're high risk, high reward, or like to play it safe. But in this case, we rolled the dice and came out winners. Faulkner is defeated, the first badge is ours, and we won't have to see dragons for a long time. Way to go, Obama. Sorry I overreacted and played the outro a little early. Can we chalk it down to it's a banger and I just like hearing it? Only because you were my VP, I'll let you get away with your lack of faith. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, and we're cool, Joe. I will admit I was definitely nervous when I knew it could be dragons to start as well. I'm just glad everything went fine and we can move on to some encounters before we make it to Azalea Town. By my calculations, I think we will have the opportunity to get three encounters before we sign off today. One to the west on Route 36, and then two to the south at the ruins of Alf and Route 32. It may not have been me, but I do hope you get lucky and encounter a legendary to add to our team, Barack. We really could use one. I mean, you're not wrong there, Donnie. But to be honest, our team is pretty solid right now, for the most part, so I'm just hoping we can get some coverages we didn't have, and if, hypothetically, something goes wrong, we can always have strong members on reserve. 
I did forget we get the egg after beating the first gym, so we will only have five party members for a little bit while we wait for that to hatch into what we hope will be something really good. Let's play a game here, everyone. Since we can't guess the Pokemon we want to catch this season, let's try and guess what Pokemon hatches from this egg. If you guess correctly, we will feature your comment on stream. All you have to do is name the Pokemon. Oh, that sounds like fun, George. I'll give it a go. I guess it could be anything since it just has to be at the beginning of an evolution line. So I'm going to say it's a Magby. Biden picking a baby Pokemon? That couldn't have been more predictable. Do you ever plan on beating those allegations of you with the kids? Or is that going to be a meme for the last two weeks of your life? Watch your mouth, Agent Orange, or I'll make sure you never use it again. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do, old man? Not like you have anything that can back up that trash talk. I'll say whatever I want and you'll like it. A joke. Is that what I think it is? Is that the Cabotops arm that you said you cut off your neighbor and made your own? No, of course not, George. Like you said, there's no way my stories could even be remotely true. Okay, Joe, you were right. You were a Sigma slasher, but hey, wasn't weapon safety a thing back then? Why don't we just put the arm away and forget any of this ever happened? You know, I could do that. Then again, it looked so fun last season when you lunged across the desk and did this. Get the fuck over here, Donnie. Save your future president. Somebody help. Oh. Hey everyone, it's our first encounter of this episode. Good luck, Barack. I know you'll get it. Why are you guys so quiet? We should be pumped up and hyping up our boy for a massive encounter. It's a fully evolved Pokemon too, so this is a perfect addition. Joe, you literally just used Fury Swipes and hit Donnie five times while getting what looked like a critical hit each time. I don't think either Barack or I is focused on the game right now and just hoping that Donnie is all right. That was so irresponsible of you. Yeah, I would be lying if I said I'm absolutely focused on this. All I can picture is how you were smiling and laughing as you did it. Trump might not have said the nicest thing to you, but that doesn't mean you can go all Wolverine on him. Well, excuse me for not standing up for myself, Barack. I've been hearing those insults for long enough and I finally reached my breaking point. I think if anything, I should be celebrated as a beacon of peace for taking all those age digs for years. Why are you guys just staring at me? What did I say? I'm the victim here. Joe, did you just say you did your Gordon Ramsay knife practice on Donald because he called you old? Well, duh, George. What else did he say that warranted that? I swear, it's like you don't listen sometimes. Would you like me to use my Cabotops arm to clean out those ears? That's not like you, buddy. Don't even fucking think about it, Joe. In fact, I'm confiscating this just so you're not tempted to use it again. But getting back to why we were stunned, we thought you did it because of the dig he made about you being overly fond of kids. Yeah, I heard that. You know, what's the issue with it? Do I need to clean out my ears? Joe, I just can't with you. Of course you're fucking ancient. You have a goddamn Cabutops arm under the Oval Office desk, for Christ's sake. How can you be offended by that? You're making me want to lunge over this desk again for old time's sake, but... No. I'm a changed man. Dr. Phil has helped me breathe, Barry. Breathe. Well, I guess when you put it that way, you have a point. No harm, no foul, buddy. No harm, no foul? You literally sent Donald to the infirmary. We literally have no idea if he's going to be okay. How can you possibly say that, Joe? Bro has thick fat as his ability, and he's definitely in a permanent Gigantamax form. So he'll be just fine. Don't you worry. Also, way to catch that Arbok Barak. What are you thinking for a name? To be honest, I never liked how Arbok was named by just spelling Cobra backwards and putting a K at the end. So I'll pay my respects to all the Cobras out there and put the name back to the way it should be. I will keep the K though because Game Freak was right about switching the C and the K. I do remember there's a Pokemon Center to the south of here, so I will try to catch our next two encounters before getting to the Pokemon Center. We can wrap things up by seeing our new teammates. Ugh. All right guys, make some room, I'm back. What did I miss here? Donald, thank goodness you're okay. What did the doctors say? Well, I did need 69 stitches after Joe used rage attack on me, but thanks to my peak physical fitness, 
I was able to fight off the attack and come back stronger than ever. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Biden. I'm still taking the White House back from you this year, but maybe you're right. I do say the kids thing too many times, so at the risk of losing even more blood, I will tone back on it a little bit. I'm sorry. Now, Joe, don't you have something to say to Donald? Maybe something along the lines of, I'm sorry for nearly unaliving you over a dig. Oh, fine. Donald, I'm sorry my choice banded Fury Swipes nearly sent you to the RIP box in the PC for reminding me that my age is starting to get up there. It's all right, Biden. I... Wait a fucking second. Did you say you attacked me because of the joke about your age and not the kids thing, Joe? You fossil looking, kid sniffing looking, gas prices raising looking, demented narcoleptic jackass. You're lucky you can play Pokemon decently or I swear I'd install an ejection seat function on your desk chair. To be honest, I think Joe got off a lot easier than he could have right there. I mean, to be fair, it's probably because Donald is high off the finest perks that the White House has to offer him most likely, but let's move on from that and focus on our next encounter this episode. We have another fully evolved Pokemon here, and while it may just be a Parasect, it's still another quality addition. You got this, Obama. Uh, I'm just going to try and keep weakening it with Thunderbolt so I have the slight chance of paralysis, and also its special defense must be pretty decent to tank it from a Pokemon four levels higher than its own. But hey, just kidding. Why would it ever be easy? I'm just going to take out Potosy since he's confused and not mess around here. Let's try oh, some shit. physical attack. Oh shit, it knows Thunder, Slasher, stay strong, buddy. You can't go out like this. Maybe just take a fucking breath before interrupting me, Joe. Just an idea. You should know better than anyone that Slasher is a Sigma bastard and he's not going anywhere with that Thunder attack. I will say, though, to only see that much damage from that huge hitter electric move makes me really confident in Slasher's special defensive stat. Well, shit. Parasect ain't ready to be caught just yet, apparently. I thought you were knocking him out for sure, but if he can stand up to Slasher and then just laugh in our face when we throw a Pokeball at him with one HP, he might be pretty decent. Dare I say dog alert? Jesus Christ, we're getting both ends of the spectrum here. Just join our team, little Parasect. We promise we'll only make you stronger. But seriously, guys, can we talk about this move set, Thunder and Sleep Powder? That's really good for us. Don't forget Sweet Kiss as well, a goaded electric attack, Dark Brandon's goaded sleep strategy and busted confusion. Someone on the team would have to step aside for him to join, but Parasect about to win the seventh man of the year award. Fucking finally, not going to lie, I'm glad I didn't place that bet for Donnie having his Big Mac induced heart attack before we got that capture. Way to stay with it, Obama and another solid addition to the team. What are you thinking for a name? Not going to waste any time with this one. Shrooms the Parasect is confirmed as our family grows a little more. Welcome to the team, Shrooms. I'm not sure if you'll play a major part in the long run, but knowing we have you in reserve really makes me feel confident about our chances. All right, boys, we got one more encounter and some trainer battles before we sign off today. So let's get out of this creepy place and back under the sun. Even to this day, this music creeps me out. I never really cared for the whole unknown storyline and never once even tried to catch all of them. I will admit the puzzles were a nice little challenge, though, and fun side quest to solve. Not going to lie, I absolutely envy you, Donald. This game came out at almost the halfway point of my first term and I spent a good part of the second half trying to catch all those damn unknowns. Cheney and Laura both tried to steal my Game Boy so I would actually get back to work and I wasn't about to let them stop my progress. Put a pin in that story, George, because we got our route 32 encounter. Come on, Legendary. Yeah, uh, not exactly uh, Legendary. I mean, I, I want to be upset, but we did get two other pretty good encounters, so it is what it is. He will evolve with a water stone as well, so I guess that's a positive, right? I mean, we're grasping at straws here since who knows when we'll get a water stone, but I guess so. Just catch it, Barack, and just give us another option for our team. Yeah, that's the plan. This side beam should put it into red, and I should easily be able to... Honestly, Barack, we ain't even mad at that one. Who knows how long it would have been until we could evolve it? And it was literally derp duck, which the anime made look useless unless it had a headache. 
Overall, you did a great job with your encounter. Captures this episode bringing in Cobra and Shrooms. So no hate your way in any way, Obama. Even if you were the first one to fumble the bag on an encounter, I'm just glad it wasn't me. Yeah, not exactly glad to have that title, even if it was a stupid role. Anyway, George, getting back to your story, how long did it take for you to end up catching all the unknowns? Did you 100% the game as well? Yeah, not exactly a happy ending to my story. I straight up had about 300 hours of playtime on my crystal save file, trying to not only fill the Pokedex, catch every unknown, and get my team all to level 100. I was so close to completing my goal. I was missing three unknown, and then I was done. But unfortunately, on the night of game three of the 2001 World Series, I threw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium, and per a clubhouse attendant, Derek Jeter stole my Game Boy Color and went on to say, he performed all the feats I accomplished, that stupid, likable bastard, why did he have to be good at baseball? I'm just glad his ownership of the Marlins was an absolute dumpster fire. He deserves it. Holy shit, it's our Kelly. George, I'm sorry to interrupt your super tragic story, but it's our fucking Kelly. We missed you, buddy, but what are you doing with that scrub of a trainer? Get over here on our side, my main man. Oh, Sleepy Joe, that's not the real R. Kelly. That's just an imposter that is nowhere near the goaded Chad that was a part of our legendary Pokemon Yellow team. I will admit I do miss him, though. That was my pick for the team, and his hypnosis attack was absolutely vital to our Indigo Plateau run. Damn it, now I'm upset and miss him. Thanks a lot, Biden. I'm not sure we would have been able to not lose a Pokemon against Lorelei or Putin if it wasn't for R. Kelly. A true titan, and he will be remembered. One last bit of closure to your story. George, I actually met up with Jeter once, and he did show me that Pokemon Crystal save file. I wish I knew the truth back then because I would have knocked his ass out to return you your game. Not even Biden deserves that horrible a fate. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're really warming up to me. I knew you would like me if you just gave me a chance. If these perks weren't starting to lose their effect, I'd show you how much I love you, Biden. I'd show you with my brass knuckles, you bastard. All right, how about we pivot from this soon to be senior UFC event? And shout out our amazing and generous donators from episode two. How about you lead us off, George? I can definitely do that, Obama. It will also take my mind off Derek Jeter for a minute as well. Our first donation comes from none other than Goat Producer Six. He donates us 5.99 Euro people money and remembers his clan, the GP, Gulp and Gatherers, challenging the Sigma Slashers in a gang war. He does admit that you were too strong for his almighty triple, Glizzy Guzzle, and you won the war, but he wants that salty run back. Wait a minute, that sussy furry who leads the GP Gulp and Gatherers was actually the content creator GP? How the fuck is he still alive? Is he a witch? Raise the torches, men. To Europe we ride. I'm taking out that glizzy gulping cake baking threat to society immediately. Democracy is ready to be delivered faster than an Amazon Prime package. Hold up, Joe. Those are just allegations of him being a furry. We won't know for sure until those forever deleted Cinderace cosplay photos come back into the light of day. And also, you were alive back then, too. Are you a witch, Joe? Maybe we have two missions to take care of tonight. We'll be heroes in Salem, boys. Dark Brandon's life force fuels Biden. Donald, you know that. He's not a witch. And we can't take out Goat Producer 6 until we get those photos. Until then, the mission is on hold. Also, you didn't hear any of that GP. Thank you so much for your donation, even if you are a Lou Min Eon hater. He hates what Pokemon now. Screw the photos. This is for our super underrated fish. You know what? No, breathe, Joey. You're better than this. Oh man, I'm just gonna go with the next donation to clear my head. Our next donation comes from our good friend, Osman Alpaslan, 152, who throws us another donation, but had to include that Donald is truly a Pokemon master. Seriously, bro. Thanks for the donation, but we all know I'm the true Pokemon master. Wait, now you're suddenly better than this? Not when you slashed me up seven ways to Sunday? Fuck you, Sleepy, but thank you very much, Osman Alpaslan 152. You are truly a king in my eyes, and thank you so much, not only for the donation, but for the kind words as well. Our next donation comes from the legendary King Onyx. He's back at it again with the $10 donation and also thinks the team is shaping up very nicely. To answer your other question, buddy, the answer is no. If the team we have out faints, it's GG, no re. We would fail the Nuzlocke if that were to happen. Thank you so much, as always, for the donation. Buddy and I hope the shenanigans 
especially what Joe did today, were to your liking. Bro literally keeps the lights on for us. Thank you so much, Onyx. You come out here every episode and throw us some bones and a special shout out to you. You're always there for us and we love Um, is that what I think it is? Ain't no way we got fucked by the RNG when there was a legendary on this route. Fuck you, Game Freak. I don't care about all the blessings you have given us on this run. Now we have to kill this Raikou. God fucking damn it. My entire day is ruined. I just want to crawl up into a ball and cry. Just do what you have to do, Barack, and tell me when it's over. Maybe not the time, but to make things even worse, I, it has a stab move in Thundershock. It's weak granted, but still it's stab. Oh well, at least we get some nice experience, I suppose. It's done, the deed, it's done. We encountered a freaking Psyduck. When there was a chance of running into that, just, yeah, I have no words. All right, listen. Up to that point, we have had a really good episode gameplay-wise. So let's not throw it all away. Let's pick our spirits back up, fight this last trainer, and then check our two new Pokemon before ending this episode off. I'll even read off the next donation. It comes from Swagner, 5021, who threw us 15 bucks and said, if we were gym leaders, what type would we be and what Pokemon would we have? Personally, I would have fire type so my passion can blaze across the land. My team would be Arcanine, Blaziken, Infernip, Houndoom, Volcarona, and Chandelure. You know me, I would be the steel type because there ain't no way my ironclad defenses would be breached. And let's be real, they just look badass. I would have an Empoleon, Lucario, Golden Go, Metagross, Scissor, and Edgeslash. Yeah, just don't go Byron on us with the whole defense thing. But if you want to talk about looking badass, look no further than my go to the electric type. Luxray, Electivire, Jolteon, Zebstrika, Raichu, and Toxtricity. Well, for me, I'll go with the ground type because let's be real, they're the best, no questions asked. None of your teams would beat my Tyranitar, Garchomp, Rhyperior, Excadrill, Gliscor, and Nidoking. Thanks again for the fun question and donation, Swagner5021, and giving me a chance to win that. Not going to lie, I kind of forgot how busted the ground type was. Our next donation comes from Empty Crevice Jack 7 xcw He gives us five Canadian dollars, and yeah, Buddy Rapidash was a huge capture. If Mystery gets a fire move, we got this on lock. Also, yeah, I think you saw those arms. See this episode already, buddy. We won't show those again. Thank you for the donation. We do have one more donation, but we did just get to the Pokemon Center, boys. So let's take a look at both Shrooms and Cobra to see how good they actually are. I can't lie, I've been waiting for this all episode. Let's start off with Shrooms first. Our capture from the ruins of Alf, he's a level six. And it looks like he has the three moves that we saw in our battle only. Still an amazing move set for a fully evolved level six Pokemon. Next up, we have Cobra. Ember, Magnitude and Blizzard is also a goaded early level moveset for a fully evolved Pokemon and holy shiitake mushrooms boys. Look at that speed stat. It's a shame that attack and special attack aren't switched, but that is a viable option. It really sucks we couldn't get that Raikou, but it is what it is. We can always find one for damn sure. Now I think there's the matter of that huge donation we got, Barack, a big $25. How about you read that one off? And finally, we have our last and biggest donation from last episode. It was pinned as all top donations every episode will be, and it came from Lowrider6217. He first asked if we have an official group name. We don't, but that could be something fun to think of. We should try and do that over the next few episodes. And what are all of our thoughts on? Oh no, this can't end well. <laughs> You say, oh, don't mind if I Joseph, do. Relax. My dummy mommy can visit the White House whenever she wants. The two of us could go to the bunker and do absolutely no, unholy things. Bunker. You don't sleepy, I would throw it all away Joseph for two Robinette minutes Biden, with my You control beauty. yourself right now. You, oh, fuck it. This is hopeless. I'm forever. cutting the feed when I can. Marry me, See my you queen. next week, everyone. You're everything I would.